Hello friends, I'm Dr. Schultz and this week's question is from Linda from Hesperia, California. And she says, Dear Dr. Schultz, I really need your help. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I'm paying attention now. My name is Linda. I'm basically a healthy 50-year-old female. I've never been overweight in my life. I currently weigh 124 pounds. I do your detox and other herbs from your site, and I believe to cure oneself of anything needs the natural approach. I agree, Linda. I do green smoothies daily. I do green smoothies daily. In fact, I do two green smoothies daily. I have my superfood drink that I publish on the blog site every morning every morning and for lunch I have one called a modified Calicious that's cal spinach and all sorts of fresh juices and I love green drinks. So we know that she's really healthy here. I rarely eat anything with sugar. I do not live to eat. I eat to live. Good answer. Good statement. I do not have high blood pressure. I don't have high cholesterol. Nothing. I take no pharmaceutical drugs. Great. Last June, out of the blue, I was in Palm Springs, California on a mini trip. That sets off my alerts right there. A trip. Okay. And I started having diarrhea and it was extreme. Thankfully, I only live approximately an hour away. So I I went home immediately. I was having urges to go 20 times through the night and all day long. It was insane. I was very concerned to say the least. I've tried every alternative holistic herbal approach and I can think of to stop this. I'm now only getting woke up one or two times a night better than 20. Uh, that's like 90% better. Uh, and it's between four and five in the morning. I'm literally woke up to have a bowel movement and I still, nothing comes out. It's watery, gassy, stools, no blood. I don't go to doctors, but I decided to go have a colonoscopy. Ow! That's like zero to a hundred, Linda, in seconds. I can think of a lot of things to do before a colonoscopy, but okay, I won't beat you up on that. If you were in my clinic, I'd probably have you down, but I won't beat you up. Uh, you went and had a colonoscopy. Uh, where was I? And uh, it came back negative, no polyps either, obviously, because you live a healthy lifestyle and you eat well. Of course, no polyps. The doctor said I did have some inflammation in my sigmoid colon. No shit, pun intended. I mean, you've had 20 bowel movements at night. Of course, you're going to have inflammation in your bowel. So you have inflammation in your sigmoid colon with microscopic bacteria, of course. I would not take the antibiotics he wanted to give me. Good for you, Linda. No antibiotics, because we know they cause all sorts of diseases from watching the other blogs I post. I also had an upper GI out, um, with, was clear except for some inflammation in my stomach. Of course, you have inflammation in your colon, inflammation in your stomach, because you've had severe diarrhea. Um, so basically, I'm still having watery, gassy bowel movements, sometimes an hour after I eat or before till the early a.m. I've been drinking your formula number two, taking... 10 uh, a day, uh, 10 capsules a day till the bottle was finished. I still had it. I did bulk my stool up. It did bulk my stool up, but went right back to the same problem when I stopped taking it. So I called and ordered another bottle, um, and I'm taking 10 twice a day now, and I will keep on and see if this stops. I'm really at the end of my rope. I need help. I hope you have some suggestions. Her last paragraph. I do have a very stressful life with two aging parents with dementia, that's stressful, and other family issues. I was also diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome in my 20s, and you are now 54, that's uh, 34 years ago, and the same family stress then, <clears throat> minus the dementia issue. Thank you so much, Dr. Schultz. Okay, let's start out here, Linda. The first thing I have to tell you, you've been poisoned, like many people who go on trips. You know, whether it's Aunt Betty's potato salad that sat out into the sun too long or that weird diner you stopped at or just a glass of water or some ice cubes at a roadside inn, you were poisoned, okay? When you go from normal to 20 bowel movements at night to severe diarrhea, that means you're poisoned. Um, and it is a blessing that you had the diarrhea. Let me explain that. When your body detects, and it has many ways of detecting, from the pyres patches, immune sensors in your small intestine to your appendix in your large intestine that are both lymphoid aggregations, meaning, meaning uh, areas where lymph 
uh, nodes and lymph detection ability is in your body. When those areas detect any poison, <clears throat> any bacteria, any fungus, any virus, any type of poison in your body, your body immediately rewards you with diarrhea because if that poison was to stay in your small or large intestine for any length of time, it would kill you. So diarrhea is just your body's response to being poisoned. So you were poisoned on this trip. Now, with a history of irritable bowel syndrome and a very stressful life and getting poisoned, it's going to affect you much worse than the next person okay so I know the irritable bowel syndrome had something to do with it your bowel was already a, li a little weak and you've had a history of that and the stress certainly has something to do with it but make no mistake you were poisoned by what who knows who cares you'll never discover it no doctor ever will forget about it it's gone but I just want you to know that's what happened to you and that's why you had the diarrhea okay um, the medical treatment, forget about it, forget getting l tubes stuck up your rear end, forget upper GIs, forget colonoscopies. Um, the IF number two will work for you. Um, why didn't it work very well? It says you did 10 a day. 10 a day on my five day bowel detox, which is for people who aren't ill, that just want to do a fun seasonal cleanse, it's 50 capsules a day. 10 capsules a day is not enough. You should have at least doubled up and taken 100 capsules a day. But let me be even more clear, you shouldn't be monkeying around with the capsules at all. You need to be taking the powder. The powder is for illness, the powder is for, powder is for serious business. It's the same powder exactly that's inside those capsules, but forget capsules, you need to be dumping spoonfuls of the intestinal formula number two powder into drinks, stirring it up and taking that down. And I would take two to four times what I recommend uh, during the five day detox uh, to uh, stop the diarrhea. Now let me talk about stopping diarrhea. When a medical doctor stops diarrhea, they give you opiates. When I was a kid, my mother gave me paragoric. Paragoric was for diarrhea. It was just tincture of opium. And boy, does that stop it. Opiates and other medical drugs freeze your colon. Well, that's great. Okay, you poison yourself. Your body goes, I need to get it out of here immediately or it will kill you. And so it gives you, it rewards you with 20 bowel movements a day. And then a doctor stops that. Bad, bad doctor, bad idea, and that can make you much worse. What you want to do is coagulate the diarrhea, which is what the intestinal formula number two does, but it also, it doesn't slow it down, it coagulates it, it absorbs the poison, the charcoal in there alone will absorb over 3,000 known toxins and poisons. That's why it's inside every water filter. The betonite clay will absorb, absorb 30 to 40 times its weight. So we're absorbing the poison, we're detoxifying the poison, we're neutralizing the poison, and then the other herbs like slippery elm will help put that diarrhea together so at least you have some solidity in your bowel movement. So it's very, very different than a medical treatment. It is not going against your body. So up the dosage of intestinal formula number two. Use the powder. Use two to four times what I suggest. And um, But a big clue here is your irritable bowel syndrome and your stress. I know you have two uh, parents that you're taking care of and I know they have dementia and trust me, I know exactly what you're talking about. But you don't want to sacrifice your life for this. You need to get some help. You need to get some other relatives helping you. Uh, you need to reduce your stress. You have a history of IBS and uh, get rid of this diarrhea. This is the intestinal formula number two capsules, but I want you to use the intestinal formula number two powder. Now normally during, during a five day detox, you're taking the powder five spoons a day. I want you 10 spoons, if not 15, if not 20, whatever it takes a day. Uh, you can still take it five times a day, but double, triple, quadruple that dosage until you handle your diarrhea. Now how about some garlic? We know garlic destroys 
all types of bacteria, fungus, virus. It's a broad spectrum antibiotic. It's a neutron bomb for whatever you were poisoned with. And how about getting that intestinal flora back with some fermented vegetables, whether it's sauerkraut or kimchi. Remember, they have to be raw fermented vegetables. You can find them in the health food store. And how about some soy, uh, dairy-free uh, yogurt with all the bacteria cultures and there's some natural probiotic energy for you. Uh, you're going to be better in no time. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that you're a healthy person. You've been healthier. I just needed to do a little more work. And everybody who's watching this, remember, diarrhea is an important thing that your body does to save your life. In fact, every symptom you have is your body doing its best to save your life. So don't fight it like the medical doctors do. Understand it. Get natural.